This was a scary surprise for witnesses on a Saturday afternoon in Davis. I was stepping out to take out some garbage and wham, I was like, I couldn't believe my eyes because the fire was going strong. The fire <laughs> and the people working to put it out caught the attention of everyone at JL Studios, the hair salon nearby. They just jumped into action. Everybody was communicating as if they had been working together their whole lives. That's not the only thing that stuck out, though. They didn't have any equipment on. They were just in plain clothes like you and me. We were really curious about why there were these men in street clothes. That part of the story starts with a different kind of surprise. Matt's wife asked me to keep him busy for a surprise 38th birthday party. The attempt at a distraction led Sacramento firefighters Matt Yandel and Peter Hernandez to Davis. I had, a, I had an inkling that something was going on. <laughs> Maybe, but he definitely didn't expect what happened next. Sure enough, on the way back from uh, grabbing tacos, Dan here happened to be on his bicycle. Sacramento Fire Captain Daniel Underhill lives in Davis. The three had only been talking for about five minutes when they noticed something. We all look at each other. We all get this whiff of smoke. And I'm like, hey, it smells like a structure fire. It has its own, its own distinctive smell. That smell led them to this. A trailer on fire behind the Davis shoe shop and a home on C and 3rd Streets. They kicked in the gate. And they're yelling, hey, there's fire right here. So I'm in, I'm in the bathtub in the house I'm using the bathroom in the house that I'm right now. And I'm, I come out my towel. I'm like, oh, man. So, like, we got hoses. I got the fire extinguishers that I have. They also notified the Davis Fire Department. They were really fast. I mean, this thing was engulfed. Flames licked the side of Jason Velibit's house, and witnesses watched the quick response. And I just kept thinking, like, wow, if they weren't there, I mean, five more minutes, three more minutes, that could have been a huge disaster. Woo. Less than 2, 2.30 since I started filming and it's almost out. So we're, we're happy they were here. <laughs> Good job, guys. It was just one surprise after another that day. I'm just like, how is it possible that I'm gonna come across two guys I have never seen off duty together in my hometown in Davis? And then a, a, there's a fire up half a block away. It was just the most coincidental thing. And Yandel did want to clarify one more thing about their attire. The reason why we were dressed the way we were is because he and I have a thing where we like to dress like 90s dads. Appropriate for Yandel's 90s themed surprise birthday party that followed. Party ended up being fantastic. Liz Amy Tree, KCRA 3 News. What are the chances for all of that? The off-duty Sacramento firefighters say all the credit should go to the Davis firefighters on scene, though. Davis Fire believes it sparked because of an electrical issue after the homeowner added an AC unit to the trailer. But what a miraculous set of events there.